in a bad mood, Alan. That piece you planted in the tabloid should have the whole town buzzing about the book, about Harley and Mallet. This is going to cause so much havoc in her life. She's not going to have time to think about anything else. Just ask Lorelei. Yeah, well, this time I'm the one causing the trouble. And believe me, it's a whole lot better to be on this side of things. All I'm saying is that timing can be your friend or your worst enemy, and me joining Lewis is the perfect timing. Mm -hmm. I mean, that government contract we just snagged. We? Oh, my goodness. It is we. Yeah, it, we. This, this new deal with the Venezuelan government yes. is going to springboard this company into a whole new profit center. My goodness, when you say profit center, it does things to me that I just don't, I don't know if I, I am serious, myself, and you will be the perfect uh, man to run the whole show. Baby, just think about all the traveling, the hours away from home, away from you and Emma. Well, we're going to be here, be or we can go with you, private jets, um, luxury suites. A kid could do worse. Stop it. You're bowling me over with your enthusiasm. Uh, Don't you want to be master of the universe? <laughs> Have you been reading my diary? Maybe. Well, it would look cool on the letterhead, I said. Then what are you so worried about? I'm not worried. It's just the responsibility that I don't want right now. And uh, I think there's another family member who's interested in the job. I, I don't think I am the man for this Venezuelan job. No, I think it's time for Bill to step up to the plate. What are you talking about Bill, you have a big project. You call in the big guns, not the young guns. Besides, didn't we agree that we were going to work on this self-improvement thing together? Oh, hold on, hold on, say. You're the ones trying to fix yourself. See, I didn't think I was broken. <sighs> were those flowers for that girl, Tammy? Hey, I'm serious. Are you okay? Couldn't be better. No ties, no hassles. Life is freaking great. Hi. Um, you just brought someone in here. His name is Sandy Foster. Do you know where he is? Are you family? Yeah, I'm... No, I'm not family, but he's really close Damn to it. me. And Uncle Josh, what, is he okay? Sandy what happened? Sandy came in contact with a live wire at one of our job sites. A live wire? What are you... What's he doing working today? I, I don't know. He told me he had a date with you. Did he not get in contact with you? Tammy. Tammy. If you weren't with Sandy, then where were you? See, I told you Mal was a good partner. He's always good in the clutch. Certainly clutching something. Good night! <laughs> Well, as you can see, we're, um, we're preparing for the move to the big house. Not the big house as in you and me and prison big house, the Spalding house. Oh, right, right, got it. Is that something you're looking forward to? Yes, why not? Uh-huh. Is that really a question? Well, you know, that Spalding house is not just any house. They got hot and cold running money there. They got mm -hmm. marble floors you could eat off. Mm -hmm. They got muffins they bake just for you in the morning. That's what they do. Yeah, but you guys are moving yourselves. Couldn't Spalding hire a few people to move some boxes around? No, no, she likes doing that stuff. You kidding me? Uh, keeps her in touch with the common people. Hey, I am the common people. Uh -huh. I am Mrs. Common People. Uh -huh. I, I'm not going to forget who I am or where I came from. <gasps> Geneva, I have to take this. Oh, hey, that's Bonjour. common. So anyway, we're just going to, you know, stay there for a little while until uh, our place is ready. Cool. Well, good luck with all that. Yeah. So are you and I hooking up later to go over this narcotics case? Yes. Yeah, totally. Okay. I think we can crack that. Well, we're close. We just got to put the pieces together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. You guys are taking off to play cops and robbers and leaving me to move these boxes by myself? I'm not a workhorse. You know I don't like that. I don't like moving. I'm not a, I'm not a pack mule. Sweetie, wh what did you think you were going to do? Move your toothbrush and a few boxers? No. Yeah, boxers. I thought you said boxers, not boxes. Come on now. Unless, of course, you want to stay and you want to help us move. I mean, yeah. Oh, you need someone to help you move the heavy stuff? Yeah, and if you know that person, call them and, uh, you know, tell them to come over. <laughs> you know, I just don't get it. Why do you want me to go up for this job so badly, huh? I want everything for you. And I love that about you. I really, really do, but I already have everything, baby. I have you and Emma, and that's all I need. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. 
And, and... And, and you want more, what, as usual. There's nothing wrong with that. What, well, but just think of the possibilities. Think oh, about it. Think of the life goodness. that you could help us achieve. Think about the life that you could give to Emma. Well, we're not exactly roughing it, baby, what are we? What happened to that quest for power you used to have inside quest of you? Quest for power? Yes! What do you want? Come quest on, Lewis power. is fine. Oh, You're fine. Yes, I'm fine. Exactly, but you that's my point, better point, than baby. fine. Look. Bill, you used to want so much more. Well, that's back when I had nothing. But now I realize the I have everything. The stakes are higher. You've got a family. You got family, and at Lewis, it's just business as usual. And Josh and Billy are considered the face of the family business. And who cares? Let it be. It's, it's not that important to me. Besides, baby, these Venezuelans are a bunch of old school stuffy suits. Uh, they, they... Who cares what they are? As long as you bring this one home. Look, they think we're a bunch of Oklahoma cowboys drilling holes all over the world. The right? So I... prove them wrong. Gosh, it, it can't hurt to meet them. Right? Well, I can't deny the fact that it would be a great opportunity. Well, now you're talking. It is. All right, I'll set up a meeting, okay? Uh, so, but no promises. No promises. Okay, you got all right. Or, you know, you could just meet them at the airport, and um, when their plane arrives within the hour, then you can call Josh and just tell him you're, you're taking charge. Uh, it's time to pass the torch. Besides, Bill's been chopping it a bit. Pass the torch? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's left? You gonna write your own obituary, mm -hmm. too? You are a legend, Billy. I know it, and Josh knows it. A legend? Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> I am. Mm -hmm. hey, yeah, yeah you, you must have heard about that time in Saudi Arabia. Oh, <laughs> no. What about down in Texas with those two brothers? <laughs> oh, see, I created a yeah, monster. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I guess I am kind of a diplomat cowboy with a six-gun and a hard hat and a real nose for where the oil is. Girl, you done woke me up. Well, it's about time. But I'm serious about this, Billy. This is exactly what you need. One last big hurrah before you hang up your spurs or pass your spurs on to Bill or do whatever you do <laughs> with a pair of spurs once you're done with them. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit that. I'm kind of nervous about getting out there again. It's been a long time, but I do really want this. Hey, think we could get a little more ice over here for a second? <laughs> Why don't you get it yourself, Hoss? He's just having a bad day, girl troubles. I heard that. What? I was just Look, just to... bring the man his ice and cut the news ticker update on my life. You're my barmaid, not my spokesperson. Hey. Does this girl who's giving you all the trouble have a name? I should have been with Sandy. If I'd met up with him sooner, if I hadn't been... I don't know how this happened. Well, neither do I, Tammy, but maybe he was tired or had something on his mind. I, I don't know. Either way, it was an accident. Nobody could have stopped it from happening. Tammy. You okay? Sandy's body was jolted with a great deal of electricity. The shock did stop his heart momentarily. We got it going again. His vitals are extremely good, but unfortunately, he's still unresponsive and unconscious for the time being. Can I see him? Just for a second. Valuation? Right. If that stays the same, then everybody comes out even, right? You can correct me if I'm wrong. Wow. No, no, no. Uh, not you. I'm going to call you back. What is there? A wedding going on? I think there's a party. Don't be silly, Harley. This is an honor of your move and not a moment too soon. We have been getting calls for you both at the office and here. Oh, really? About the, um, the budget? Pro projections or the um, the quarterly estimates? No, no. As exciting as all that number crunching can be, it's about Blake's book. Oh, that. Yeah. Apparently, Blake did not do a very good job at hiding your identity or mallets, for that matter. And people want to know about you too. There is no you too, Beth. 
Right. Well, in any case, you'll still have to make some kind of a statement. I am running a company here. I don't have time to make a statement, a statement about a, a stupid, silly book. Oh, I just backed the truck up over some little... Sp oh, hey, uh, am I interrupting something? No, we're just admiring, admiring all of this. Flowers. Hello, AC. Hello, Beth. Nice spread. Thank you. I am glad that you're here, because if Harley won't make a statement, maybe you will. I'm sorry, Beth, but the press will have to wait. We're going to get some more boxes. Yeah, boxes. Harley. Beth. I know what it's like to have your entire life splashed over some trashy novel. <laughs> and add to that the pressure of being a newlywed, the newly minted CEO, moving your kids into a new home. Uh -huh. If there's anything that I can do. Actually, Beth, really, I'm, I'm doing fine. Thanks. Well, I have prepared rooms for you and Gus as well as for the boys. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Oh, I know. But as Alan's wife and head of the household, it is my no, responsibility. No, 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 no. I, I meant seriously, you didn't have to do that. When I signed my contract as CEO of Spalding Enterprises, the house became mine. Would you just give me one second? This is Harley. Hey, Beth, um, just so you know, you are welcome here. You and your children. I mean that. Hi, I'm back. Need some help? I'm fine. Think Harley's gonna be okay in there? Sure, why? Because I just think Beth makes her uncomfortable. She'll be fine. Hey, since we don't have a major break in this case, <coughs> why don't we just nail these guys on some misdemeanor? A little help? I like what? All right, some misdemeanor and just have an excuse to bring him in. Uh, I mean, like, sit him in the box and, uh, shake the tree. Hey, who knows what might fall out? Uh, maybe we could do something like, uh, trespassing. I've been thinking about that one a while, you know, people going where they don't belong. Well, I just sometimes think people sometimes get, uh, you know, a little, uh, protective of the turf. Maybe a little overprotective sometimes. Sometimes people need to, you know, set some sort of boundary so other people don't cross those lines. Do you know what I mean? We're not really, uh, talking about the case anymore, are we? Sure we are. Partner? Bill is on his way to meet some very important clients at the airport. Terminal A, gate 17A. Go there, take notes, okay? Just bat your eyelashes, do whatever's appropriate. I know, we girls have to use what we got sometimes, right? Anyway, go. Report back. Okay, okay wait a minute. I I'm, I'm his assistant now? Well, we're married. You know, what's mine is his, what's his is mine, et cetera, et cetera. Can I have a glass of Merlot before you go? Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. Yeah. You know, I never thought you'd make it in this family or in this business, but then here you are, aren't you? Oh, and you love it. Well, I wouldn't go that far. But Bill is definitely going to need your help at home now that I am taking over the Venezuelan project. What's her name? Is it serious? No. Oh, Jonathan, I don't believe you. You're very upset, so what's going on? Look, did you ever want something so bad that it kills you not to have it? Yeah. Well, that's the way it is with this girl, Reba. She doesn't want me. That's it. That's all. The end. When I first heard he was in the hospital, I didn't... Oh, I didn't expect to see him like this. Tell me you'll be all right. Be strong. Just got you. 
You know I'm not gonna stop until I figure out who this mystery girl is. Do you work back here now? Look, I'm gonna have you thrown out because I am done talking about it. Why can't you be with her? Because who wants to be with the kid who jumps in the fountain at the country club? Everybody in this town knows that I'm trouble. They said the same thing about me and look how I turned out. How are you and Joshua, by the way? Okay, I see the point. But it still doesn't matter. Reva, look. She's too good for me, and she knows it. Everybody knows it. You know what? I know who it is. can't know. Tammy, what I know is that you loving that young man in there means the world to him. And he loves you, too. Look at you and Aunt Reva as much as you try. It's different. Okay, well, look at my mom and anyone that she's ever loved. I mean, you love someone and you have this great idea about how it's going to be, and then it's gone. Tammy, you're scared right now, but you're going to pull through this. So is Sandy. Both of you have this great future ahead of you. You just have to believe and have a little faith. You know what your problem is? You don't believe in yourself. Do you lay off it already? Do you want a job? <laughs> I know who it is. I do. It's that new girl that's working for you, right? That Ava girl? You already know what you think. Case closed. You know what? I have been in this exact same position that you've been in so many times I even hate to admit it. But you never give up. Okay? That's the one thing you have to know when you love someone. You learn it. You never give up. And then once you have her, you never let go. Anybody ever tell you you're a pie in the sky hopeful? I mean, really, ma! What kind of drugs you've been on your whole life? What is wrong with me telling you to go for it? Well, let's start with you and Joshua, okay? You two always seem to be going for it and falling a bit short. Shouldn't you be looking for him or looking for yourself or something? Well, for your information, he is coming back today, and we will touch base. Well, you'll probably run into him at Cedars. Why? Did something happen? Not to Joshua. Sandy had some kind of accident at the work site. And you're just telling me this now? Well, if you weren't getting on me about my life... And how did you find out? I own a bar. People talk. Hey, wait. Give these to Sandy. Tell him, uh, I said go well soon. You don't really mean that. You think? Just give them to the Tammy then. Tell her I said I'm sorry. So you're heading the Venezuelan project. I, I had no idea that anything had been decided. Yeah, I made the call this morning. I was going to uh, step down, but I decided I wanted to make one more run before I hand over the reins. Yeah, but that, that's a big job. And then helping Jonathan run this bar? <laughs> Can I say I'm a big man? Not to go around. See, that's the trouble with you kids. You, you need nannies and you need dog walkers and people to turn down your sheets and tuck you in. At night. Whereas you don't. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of rough and ready, you know. I'm old school. Back in the day, we were do it yourself. Back in the day, that's when uh, the earth was still cooling? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, but really, I mean, don't you think that you should pass Venezuela on to somebody who's a little more current? Oh, you mean somebody like you? Hey, 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 no offense, Darl, but uh, I know you like to jump into the corporate mix. However, I think so taking a little more lipstick and a push-up bra to make it in this kind of negotiation. You need to have more than killer instincts and killer looks to play with the big boys. Now, you'll be ready someday, but uh, that's not today. Hey, need some backup? What are you doing here? <laughs> what's Olivia's is yours, and what's yours is hers, and I am your assistant on loan. Are you telling me Olivia sent you here? She did. She did. To smile and take notes if you need it. Really? Yes. Well, that's fine. That's fantastic. Okay, well, you're about to get your first lesson in international relations. Uh, what is this about again? Well, um, Lewis has snagged a major deal with Venezuela, so we got some of the reps coming in to dot the I's, cross the T's, and I am brushing up on my Espanol. Because Bill's first rule is make them feel at home so they're comfortable doing business away from home. 
Okay, okay, okay. I think this okay. Oh, they're gonna be coming off the plane, so just stand behind me and watch and learn. And here we. Ah, buenos dias, bien, bienneros. Espere, coveo nuestro negocio tan también como nos nuestras espere. Bueno, el placer es nuestro. Queremos empezar inmediatamente, por favor, cuando puedas. Yeah, so Gus, this whole tabloid thing, okay, between me and Harley. I mean, I was just looking at it again. I mean, you got to understand that this thing. The rags. I don't, I don't read, like, rag papers, you know. Right. I use them to line the bottom of my bird cage. <laughs> and I don't even have one. I don't have a bird. <laughs> Good, because, I mean, look, look at this. Look at this. They got a story here about alien invasion. Mallet, so, mallet, I mean, mallet, 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 mallet. What? I'm cool. Okay. You're cool? Mm-hmm. Cool. So there's no need to clear the air. Uh, about what? A bunch of lies? A fictional story? Fictional? Uh huh. Did you, uh, did you read the book? No. Why would I? <laughs> I know, right? I know nothing happened between you and Harley in that prison. At least you and Harley. I don't know about you. This is just Blake's fantasy. You know what we should do? We should put Blake inside a prison, let her write a story, and see what comes out. Exactly. Good, because I just want the whole thing to blow over. I mean, yeah. Um, I just want you to know that even though, uh, technically I'm in charge, I won't be pulling rank on you, Beth. Well, that's comforting. I've decided that actually I'm going to help you. So I've informed the house staff that my brother Coop and Lizzie are allowed here anytime they want. What they do is their business. Then you approve of their relationship. I just think it's not up to us to decide what they do or don't do. So this is you telling me to lay off Lizzie and just let she and Coop be together? I think they're either going to fall in love or they're going to decide it's over and they'll call it quits. But either way, I'm not going to stand by and, and watch while another relationship self-destructs because of spalding interference. Some relationships self-destruct all on their own. Listen to me now. You've got to have faith. That's something we should have all the time, but particularly at a time like this. I just can't help but think that Sandy didn't deserve this. Why do you even say deserve? It was an accident. Obviously, nobody deserves for something like this Joshua, to happen. Joshua, I just heard. Uh, Tammy, um, these are for you. They're from Jonathan. He wanted you to have them. Nearly electrocuted? Well, how is he? Rick doesn't know yet. Apparently he's in stable condition, but he's not awake yet. Why did he? I'm sorry, sweetheart, what? Why did Jonathan bring me these? I, I have to take this. He's not really okay, is he? No. And neither is Tammy. You shouldn't be calling me. Or sending me flowers with Aunt Riva. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Sandy's hurt. It's... It's real bad. Look, I know this must be upsetting for you, so let me come be with you. I can't do this. Sandy caught a live wire at one of our job sites. The ambulance showed up and said he's here and Tammy's a wreck. It's a terrible thing for you to have to come home to. At least I'm home. We've spent way too much time in this place. You know, I saved his life once. We both have the scars to prove it. But what can I do now? You could stay here. 
You could stay here with me. <clears throat> well, what, what I meant to say is that uh, we are very happy to, to have you here on this uh, auspicious occasion of, uh, of our company and, and, and your country working together, uh, crossing borders, uh, free trade. Mr. Lewis, I'm very surprised to see you. I thought Lewis would send somebody with greater international experience. And that's understandable, but I think we got off on the wrong foot here. So I, um... Senor Lewis, intenda hacer quesa para trabajar en concierto en nueva, nueva empresa. What did you just say? Just keep shaking his hand. <laughs> and um, yes. we'll get their luggage so you don't screw up the deal. Seniors? Gracias. We look forward to doing business with you and your wife. That, that's, that's, that's not my point. All right, maybe. Maybe I'm not ready to play with the big boys just yet. And I wouldn't even try to lead that Venezuelan deal, not with those particular guys. What do you mean, those particular guys? They think we're a bunch of wild Oklahoma cowboys drilling holes all over the world. I just hear that they're a throwback to the old boys' school, you know, mixing business with pleasure, accent on the pleasure. No kidding. Yeah, and you can't keep up with them at this stage of your life. Billy? What? You know, I practically invented mixing business with pleasure. It's old school, it's right up my Back alley. Back in the day, but don't make a fool of yourself. Oh, you want to see how it's done, you just watch. I'm going to show these guys a real cowboy time with a real American cowboy. All right, I'll tell uh, Harley that we're going to make it a box run. Is that all right with you? Yeah. What? No lemonade? Oh, Mwah. no, thank you. I'm going to get uh, some of that on the way out. Over there, I mean. I'm cool. So. Oh, thanks. You and Gus are partners now, huh? Yep. Great material for a new book, sequel. Yeah, I don't think people want to hear any more about uh, Marley and Hammer. I'm sorry. I know what it's like, you know, to have your life laid out for the whole world to see. I don't. That book wasn't about me. Except for the true parts, right? <laughs> Two hours. That's not even physically possible. <laughs> hey! It's just me. Calm down. No, I, I just, uh, I'm jumpy in this house. Yeah, uh, I understand <laughs> that, but that's gonna pass. Like, you know, a sour stomach. <laughs> and I got, I got something for that, too, by the way. Check this out. What this house needs is a little dash of Cooper. Try this, this little Lombada right here. And a little soup song of Ituro. That's right, Soup song? Yeah, soup song. I don't song. even know what that means. Well, I've been watching cooking shows. They calm me down lately. That's it. Yeah, you're in that mood. That's it. <laughs> Amongst other things. <laughs> other things calm me down. Do I feel like a teenager playing my music too loud in my house? All right. It is your house. It is, yes, isn't that's it? Right. All right, listen, I'm gonna get Mal. We're gonna get some more boxes, all right? No, 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 let me do it, please. Please, because I need a Beth break. Go ahead. Everywhere I go, there you she is. Do that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. I'll eat. Not a full meal, but I'll eat. Yes, it has been a very difficult adjustment for a, wait, for everyone involved. Oh, well, that's kind of you. Thank you. Oh, that's so nice. Well, I look forward to working with you, too. Okay, bye. You know, you better be careful. This job's starting to look good on you. You think? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, thank you. And thank you for all your help with the boxes. You're very brave. Ah, uh, well, you're welcome. I'm here to help any way I can. So did you have a, um, a nice chat with Beth? Um, uh, no. Why? What did she say? Uh, she's way into Blake's new book. Ugh, that? Yeah. 
Yeah. No, I, I don't know why I'm even worried about that. It's not like people read anymore today anyway. Oh, I like biographies. I mean, I mean, but this one, you know, from what I hear is not, it's not. Yeah, I don't think anybody's going to think we're even close to that. No, no. I, I think it's, I think you and I are probably just blowing this whole thing out of proportion. Yeah. We're I just think... imagining it. We're yeah, <laughs> you're right. Don't I, you think? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Come on. What, am I getting this? Yeah. Ugh. You're very good at it. <laughs> you, there's a few more. In there. Do you want to grab a box? <laughs> it's you. I mean, it's both of you. Marlene Hammer. Will you autograph my copy? Although neither Marley nor Hammer wanted to admit it, the passion they once knew was still alive. Get a good cell phone plan. What? What's up, Frank? Where's that going down? Don't worry about what I sound like. Where's the sting going down? I'm ready for it. I'm ready to bust some heads. Mallet's on his way over to me right now. All right. Mallet. Hammer. Whatever your name is. I Hi. swear I did not tell them that <laughs> no, I was your sure? wife. I didn't. Uh, well, I, I don't know how things work in Venezuela, Bill, but I don't want to give I them a wrong idea. I think you did. I think you did. No, of course you did it. I know you did. In fact, I'll. I don't want to step on Olivia's side. toes. You're I'm not, sure you can understand that. You're not that. stepping on anyone's toes. And if you did, she'd probably rip your foot off. But, you know, don't worry about it. She'd be proud of you right now. Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. Well, you don't yes. have to say that. I know that. But yeah. what you just did right there, you took total control and you Well, listen, sold I have to admit, I have to admit that I've learned a few things from watching your wife. Yeah, well. She's amazing. She is. She is business savvy and street mm -hmm. smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she certainly is. As a matter of fact, I've never seen her set her sights on something and not get it. No matter who is in her way. Even me. <laughs> right, well, let's go get some Venezuelans, huh? Okay. Right. <laughs> you know what? Who might give you advice, Billy? If you're up for the challenge, then go for it. I'll just sit here and wait to tell you I told you so. <laughs> you're going to have a long wait, because I have a full night of whining and dining with these fellas. Have fun. Rick, 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 yeah. can, I, can, I, can I see him now? Uh, Tammy, Sandy's heavily sedated. He's not going to even know you're in the room. I don't care. All right, five minutes, that's it, okay? All right. Jonathan. Hey, I, uh, I came to check on Sandy. Pretty bad accident, so... Oh. Can I, uh, look in? Yeah, sure. Yeah? Hey, Josh. 